Welcome back, ladies and gents. I'll be reacting to the best setups of all time on the Battle Station subreddit. Let's continue. <gasps> Give the gift everyone wants this holiday season. And no, I'm not talking about handcuffs and whips. I'm talking about CD keys. Whether you need access to Microsoft Office for school or work, or you're building yourself a PC with Windows 11, you can find keys to all of that and more at VIP or CDKey.com. The best part is, they cost only a fraction of the original retail price, saving you tons of money to put towards other meaningful gifts. This holiday season, they have extended the discount to 28% by using the code TS25. This will only last till the end of December before going back down in January. Once again, the code is TS25, so make sure to put that in before you check out. And afterwards, all you have to do is visit the user center section up top, navigate to your orders so you can copy and paste the key into the activation settings of Windows to get full access to Windows features. Punch bag plays. Wow, look at the presentation on this bad boy, ladies and gents. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that super overpriced RGB cube. I think this goes for like five or $600. I'm not even kidding. That is a lot of money for an RGB cube, which you can find on AliExpress for like a fraction of the price, I'm sure. It probably doesn't bother this guy because it looks like he has a lot of money to burn. Is that one massive desk or did he... Oh no, he stitched two different desks together. Okay, I was about to say, that is one long corner desk, wow. We got the RGB neon strip going across the border of the desk. A couple of mouse pads over here on the right side for decor purposes. I feel like adding an extra desk on the right side just to hold that cube and a few mouse pads is a little overkill. You could have easily gotten like an Alex unit or something for your PC if you needed more space, but this desk over here feels like it's wasted space. Unfortunately, the chair is blocking off a portion of your desk setup, so I can't really tell what's behind it other than triple 27-inch monitors, I wanna say. And above that, we do have a wall shelf with some nano leaf lines and a bunch of CSGO knives for collectibles, I'd say. Oh, you got some more on the right side as well. Okay, yeah, yeah, not a bad setup. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. Is this worthy, is the caption. Um, worthy of what exactly? This guy is definitely a stock trader by the looks of it. Um, so it makes sense why he has four ultra wide monitors and a 27 inch in vertical mode. And two PCs by the looks of it on the bottom. Oh wait, three PCs. Whoa, this guy is absolutely decked out. We got two PCs tucked away underneath the desk with one more on the side. I'm not sure if the side PC is connected to anything because I can't tell if it's on, but he also has a laptop and a smaller 15 inch portable monitor on the side. That's, uh, that's a lot of clutter. Those PCs look like they're starving for air. There is hardly any space in there for the hot air to exhaust out. So I would definitely check the temps, make sure nothing is thermal throttling and make sure nothing is overheating because that could potentially damage the components in the long run. Functionality wise, it is far from ideal, but hey, if it works for this guy, it works for him. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 though. Oh, this one's cute. This one belongs to Axel with 1.8K votes, and I absolutely love what he did with this little nook in one of his bedrooms. He took advantage of that empty space and built a very cute and compact setup. We got the black slab panels with a few uh, custom wall shelves on the top for decor and storage. And then we have a 24 inch, possibly a 27 inch monitor sitting on a floating custom tabletop. It's small, but it works. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. No way my setup made it. <laughs> was that this year? 10 months ago. Oh yeah, it was. Wow, yeah, I didn't um, expect this one to be here, but I thought my caption was clever. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Get it? Because um, cause that spell is a floating spell and my setup is floating. Oh brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> Unfortunately, this is not my current setup to date because as most of you know, my PC has died. So uh, rest in peace, Big Red version five. You will be missed. I do have a temporary system currently on there and I did switch the top ultra wide back to the original LG 45 inch OLED display. And I got rid of the, uh, the side streaming lights because I haven't been streaming. But uh, other than that, everything else does seem to be accurate. I'm gonna give this a uh, six out of 10. 
You know, there aren't that many minimalistic setups that catch my eye as I'm scrolling through, except this one. For some reason, this one stood out the most. And I can't exactly pinpoint the exact reason why. It just, it looks so good. Everything seems to be done so tastefully. He didn't overdo it with the slate panels. There isn't a lot of decor. I feel like there's a nice balance to it. Eight out of 10. Ah, yes. Who can forget about this ultra-wide monstrosity? I definitely remember reacting to this a few episodes ago simply because of the quad ultra-wide barn. I was like, who needs this much screen real estate? Years in the making, my battle station has finally reached its omega form. It's interesting because not much has changed. I definitely still remember he's using the same desk because it looked very outdated before. It's the same exact desk and I think it's the same exact monitors as well. We got dual 49 inches stacked on each other with 34 inches in vertical mode. It could be new models for all I know, but I mean the layout itself looks very, very similar. I don't even know what that extra stuff on the desk is for. Like, why do you need gloves? This is definitely one of those overkill, bizarre setups. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 though. Ah yes, another setup to bless our eyeballs with. Ladies and gents, look at this beautiful masterpiece. Oh my God, symmetry is immaculate. It almost feels like this person made a setup on one side and just flipped the image to the other in Photoshop or something because it looks so perfectly balanced. Dual 27 inch monitors mounted against the slab panels, each with its very own monitor light bar. We have a cute little riser underneath for some storage and decor and tons and tons of decoration and greenery. One thing I would do is probably tilt the speakers so they're actually aiming towards your ears and not you know, past you. But other than that, it looks freaking awesome. Nine out of 10 for me. <laughs> what? What? How is this floating? It's like defying all physics. That is insane. Is there any triangle brackets underneath? That's, uh, that's, that's impressive. Even for me, that's very impressive. Looks like the PC has its own shelf though, so that's good. I'm glad you gave it its own platform. The desk itself, I mean, you have a headboard and you have a tabletop floating. There's gotta be some sort of triangle bracket underneath, unless you have like a custom frame like I do, but yeah, that's, that's very trippy to see. You walk into a room and you see this just like floating. Your first instinct is, what is this sorcery? The only thing I would've done differently if this was my setup was I would've moved the ultra wides a little bit to the left because you have a lot of empty headboard space over here and it looks like the ultra wides are a little too close to the pc it looks very cramped um, this would also give you extra space to put both of your speakers on either side of the monitor because right now you have it laying flat underneath the ultra wide but other than that i think it's a very cute and interesting floating desk setup i'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Ladies and gents, feast your eyes on Tiesto's music production setup. Damn. This has to be like some popular DJ's like music production setup because that's a lot of expensive gear. That looks absolutely epic. I mean, the custom panels with the lighting underneath. This room has been sound treated really, really well. You can tell. We got the shag rug on the floor for additional sound treating, acoustic panels on the top. And is that a, is that a ghosty console? I'm pretty sure that desk alone is like two grand, but those speakers look way more expensive. They're probably more expensive than the entire room, to be honest. I don't know much about music production, but I feel like if you have a lot of passion and you're serious about your work, this is the type of setup you would build for yourself. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Okay, where are my plant lovers? I know you guys are watching this video, okay? My question to you is, is this enough or do we need more? The oxygen levels in this room are probably through the roof. Like, can you get oxygen poisoning if you get too much oxygen? I'm, I'm genuinely curious. My question is, are these actual like real plants or are they a mix of fake and real? Because that's a lot of watering to do every single day. Imagine walking into your setup and the first thing you have to do is like water each of your plants before you power on the PC. I feel like it's just too cut. Too <laughs> Imagine your boys call you to jump on Battlefield 6, but you're like, nah fam. I gotta water my plants first. I'm gonna give this setup six out of 10 plants. Okay, see, I feel like this setup is more balanced. He didn't overdo it with the plants. There's still a lot, I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's not overcrowding the setup. And I'm pretty sure some of these are artificial as well. I feel like I could use a little bit more on the organizing side, like especially the desk surface, but overall I'm, I'm digging this setup a lot more. Seven out of 10. 
If Harry Potter was a gamer in 2025, I feel like this is the type of setup he would build for himself. Under the stairs battle station with a sci-fi Tron theme. I'm absolutely loving the color scheme here. It looks like he has a 27 inch curved monitor as the primary, but also has a secondary smaller display on the left for monitoring hardware information. Looks like we got wireless peripherals. Is my man drinking in here? I can't tell if that's beer or if that's Coca-Cola. I mean, you gotta get lit one way, right? I'm absolutely loving the fact that he took advantage of all the extra space in this tiny stairs closet. Like he added a ton of shelves for collectibles and storage, and even one directly above the monitor to store his PC. I'm just worried about ventilation. I really hope there's some sort of ventilation to help exhaust. Actually, oh, wait a minute. The door is missing. Oh, okay, so we removed the door. Smart, smart. I was gonna say, because you can definitely get choked up in there. Closet setups are my thing. I love it. I'm gonna give this one a, uh, a solid nine out of 10. This one's kind of giving me deep into the woods cabin vibes because both the flooring and the walls are made out of wood. And that's usually a big giveaway that it's somewhere in the wilderness, but I could be wrong here. So we have a wall mounted PC, which looks like the exact case I used in Peter's setup from Setup Makeover Season 10. It's, a, uh, it's an open air chassis that can be mounted on the wall and I picked this up from Etsy and it looks like it's powering two monitors. We have a 32 inch Samsung Odyssey mounted against the wall with a 27 inch in vertical pushed over to the side. Everything is mounted against the wall including the speakers and you can see like the channel raceway going through the floating tabletop. So cable management is definitely on point. Other than that, I think the setup itself looks a little too stale, if I'm being honest. There's like no decor, there's no personality. Um, it looks very cold, especially being out in the wilderness, if that's even the case. So maybe add a few figurines or some greenery to spice it up, but still a pretty cool floating setup. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. All right, now we're talking, ladies and gents. We're finally getting into the good stuff. Aside from the horrible photo quality and the plethora of desktop icons on the monitor, the setup itself is very interesting. So at first I thought, why on earth did he go with those massive thick wooden beams underneath the tabletop when he could have easily gone with like a more minimalistic approach with the triangle brackets. But then I thought, okay, maybe he's doing this on purpose. Maybe he likes the thick wood look and also to complement the wall mounted PC. That's the only explanation I could think of. So that appears to be a 98 inch Saljan Ikea countertop or maybe even an egg packet, I'm not exactly sure but it wasn't wide enough, so we added two more extensions to fill in the gaps on both sides. We have a 34 inch ultra wide in the center, sandwiched by two 27 inch displays. The taskbar on those monitors are an eyesore. You could at least change the theme of it so it's black, that way it doesn't stick out as much. But other than that, I mean, the setup is symmetrical, it's clean, and we have a Beast custom wall mounted PC mounted against the wall, which appears to be a custom made frame as well. So, well done. Overall rating is gonna be a seven out of 10 for me. So this next one belongs to Denny, and I right off the bat love the mix between white and wood. I've said this in the past, I think white blends in really nicely with the lighter wood tones, as opposed to black blending in nicely with the darker wood tones. And this setup over here encapsulates that really, really well. I love the fact that he labeled this post RGB free, like RGB is some sort of plague that everyone should avoid. I do think the slate panels are done tastefully here. It's not overdone like most of the other setups. And we do have symmetry in mind as well. We've got some shelves for decor and storage with some posters underneath it and some hexagon cola lights, I believe, in the center. Aside from the monitor being a little too large for my taste personally, I think everything else about this setup is spot on. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. This one's actually really cool. Every time I see a uh, sci-fi or futuristic style setup, it stops me in my tracks because you don't get to see many of those. The only way you're gonna pull off this look is by sticking with the signature sci-fi and futuristic color scheme, which is a shade of light blue. So either turquoise or teal would do the job. And I feel like this setup does it really well. Looks like we got those 3D art panels for the primary setup and slate panels on the adjacent wall to kind of separate both setups. It's got two different textures, so it has a nice separation. Possibly a 27 inch as the primary, and then we have a smaller 14, maybe a 15 inch display as a secondary on the bottom, and a pullout drawer with its peripherals. Looks like we've got a Razer gaming keypad on the left, followed by a really cool custom 60% keyboard and the Model D for the mouse. 
Again, um, not that much mouse space, unfortunately, but then again, he might not be playing FPS games, so. I think one thing the setup does really well is the lighting. And the PC powering the setup is an AMD build. I'm 100% confident he's rocking an AMD chip, but also he has the XFX RX 9070 XT as well in white, which complements the PC and the rest of the setup really nicely. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. I think it's put together really well.